everybody, hoping you're having a fantastic Saturday, and today we're going to be talking about Flushy GT and all the drama that's going on. If y'all don't know who Flushy GT is, he is a Gorilla Tag YouTuber who created um, this audio. I'm so done with Gorilla Tag right now! I was playing Gorilla Tag in the competitive lobby, and some kids said that I was hacking because I was lost. Y'all probably all know that audio, and he gamed super famous from that audio, and right now he has 900,000 um, subscribers, and he posts commentary videos with a little art picture in the left corner. Now let's get into the drama. So basically, I'm going to be talking about four topics that I want to talk about, and we're going to look at his newest videos to the response of the controversy. First topic we're going to be talking about is how he's racist. So basically, he made a TikTok um, live account a couple, like, I think it was a year ago, I'm not sure really, but, and it, the name was pretty racist, I'm going to put it up on screen right now. I don't know if we're going to be talking about how he's the most egotistical creator ever. So basically, when someone um, hurts his feelings or something, he bans them, and when someone doesn't like his, his content, he bans them, and also, he's cussed out many fans, and he's also bragged about how many um, subscribers he had has and how many views his commentary videos have, And um, but it's just crazy he just does that stuff. And also, any time so, uh, someone complains about his content, he gets absolutely, like, he rages and he just gets completely butthurt. He also made a Discord announcement of to hurt these two creators' feelings and to ban them and try to turn them, m them just because um, they were spreading a little hate. And also, he uses his fans to spread um, hate to other creators when he's trying to ban other creators that are spreading hate towards him, which is absolutely stupid. I get that he can't control those mods, but at least he can try to ban them or something. His mods are spreading inappropriate stuff on their Discord server with um, kids on it, like me. He also AI wrote his song, and most um, singers and rappers or whatever you are, write their songs, or at least hire someone to write them, and they put in real work and effort while he just AI generated the song. And, uh, saying it i mean he didn't even sing that good too <laughs> so i'm gonna be deflecting and reacting to his first response video so let's get into it hi my name's flushy gt and i've been getting canceled recently and because people think i'm racist they think i did a bunch of bad stuff they think i'm homophobic things like that and today i'm gonna be talking about it because people are actually leaking my address they're sending me death threats through Discord. They're spam reporting my account, which can get me terminated. And a bunch of other things that I literally don't deserve because I didn't do anything bad. And today I'm going to be explaining it. Plus, you see, the reason why people think you're a racist is because you are. And also, I'm going to say that you shouldn't spread death threats to this kid. And you shouldn't, like, do any of that stuff because, like, that's just messed up. And that's not the right thing to do. So, let's just get back to the video. People are calling me racist because of my old username on my old TikTok live account. I can't really say it right now because you guys will call me racist, but here it is on the screen. Yeah, Flushy GT, that's because that is um, the N-word, and that is kind of racist, you know, like, you know, like, you're not supposed to say the N-word, you know? It's because, like, that's, like, racist. I mean, what, like, how are you not racist by putting your name, your TikTok live name on TikTok as the n-word well i made that account a year ago and my intention wasn't to make it seem racist i didn't even think that it sounded racist myself but if you do try to pronounce it i guess it kind of sounds like the n-word it sounds really really racist and stuff like that but i didn't want to make it racist like i didn't even think about it being racist i just saw that name in a random j-man curly video and i got inspired so i changed my tiktok account name to that and people are calling me racist for it now? I mean, I kinda get it. It kinda sounds like the N-word. It looks like the N-word, but it, no, you guys are just dirty-minded. Nah, Flush, I'm 100% sure the N-word is racist, and I think putting your TikTok live um, account name as that is kinda racist, but you know, that's just me. I mean, I, I don't know. ...with the N-word, and in fact, it's actually not a real word, but if you search it all basically in the Urban Dictionary, it does mean the N-word, but I didn't know that, so that's not my fault. I'm sorry if you, that offended you, but that's not my fault. Plus, it's not a real word, actually. It's in the Urban Dictionary, but not the real dictionary. Well, she, I'm pretty sure it is your fault, because you're the one who put your name as that. And even though it is in the Urban Dictionary, 
It's still kind of racist, not gonna lie. Discord moderators Vinny was promoting his And if you don't know stay curious, you're you're doing great. And if you guys didn't know, it's not an actual account. Like it's not an actual but it still leads you to the website where you can watch very inappropriate things and I think that is just very immature from Vinny. And yes, that is pretty messed up. We're actually taking actions for it now. But it's kind of not my fault because I'm not the one that did it. It was my moderator. But yeah, that's the second thing I'm getting canceled for. I mean, it is kind of your fault for your moderators being bad. You could actually get some good moderators and spend some time to get some. But good for you for um, taking action. You know, it is what it is. And the third thing is, apparently my content is lazy. I mean, I kind of get it. It's commentary. And it's also YouTube shorts. So, of course, it's lazy. But, yeah, it is kind of lazy. But it's also kind of entertaining for some people at the same time. I mean, it's just your opinion. A lot of people think the different way. They like my videos. But... You know, it's just a different format of content, and you might call it lazy, but, you know, that's just your opinion. I think his content's very lazy, but my content's also really lazy. So, um, he can do whatever he wants. Just scroll past this video, and you don't have to watch it. But that this doesn't ignore the facts about all the drama that's going on. But this is a good claim. The rest of the video, he talks about um, how he works all day and it's like 1.30 and he has to go to bed and he has to edit this video. Whatever he talks about, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to um, look at his pinned comment in this video because it says at the end to check the pinned comment. So let's go. Y'all can pause to read that, but um, basically what he says in this pinned comment is that he didn't AI generate his song, which... I'm convinced he did, but whatever. And he also says that um, the 9-11 joke wasn't bad because other YouTubers do it. Which, just because other YouTubers do it, doesn't mean you can do it and um, get away with it. They should also, um, like, it's just messed up. Like, the 9-11 jokes are messed up. He also talks about the doxing thing and how they traced his PNG art or whatever it is. And how his artist paid for it and how they did a bunch of other stuff and how he's in the right because he's hurting their feelings and rating them and trying to make um, them get terminated which I mean okay but you still shouldn't do that two wrongs don't make a right I mean I'm not trying to sound like a parent or something but you, po you probably still shouldn't do that just because someone does something to you doesn't mean you should do something don't spread hate to Flushy GT or any death threats or anything like that because he does not deserve um, death threats and stuff. I know that for a fact. Everybody um, makes mistakes and he deserves a second chance. Definitely. And he's just a kid like me and you and most people in the Gorilla Tech community. And we make mistakes and we can fix them if um, we just give people um, second chances. So yeah, I hope y'all love this video and make sure to like and subscribe and bye!